a can gets filled. The first portion here is called a depalletizer. So we have a pallet of cans. We have a very empty pallet of cans. We have a one ready to go behind it. Gets lifted up. We push the cans off onto the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt pushes the cans down into a single file line. So the cans come down the twist wrench, which is where they're gonna get sprayed out, get any debris, dust, anything like that. Make sure that we have nice clean can liners. They come down here, they get split off into two sections where they're gonna wait to get filled. So you'll see when this raises, it's gonna eject six cans, and then the next six are gonna go under. So these will clamp down, and it will purge the can with CO2 to make sure we have a nice sterile environment, and then it will fill the can with the hop water. Once the cans are done filling, they'll zipper together. Well, they'll pick up a lid right here, and then they'll get pushed forward into our steamer, which is gonna steam the lid to the can. It spins at roughly 1,700 rotations per minute, so it spins really fast. Side, the cans come under uh, this rinser, so it's going to spray the can with water, and then it's also going to spray it with air to get any kind of remnant beer or hop water off of it. And then it will come down here, hit the conveyor, and then it will go through our labeler. <laughs> They'll get pushed onto the circulating table where Quentin will gather the cans. They'll put them in the cases, making sure all the labels face outward. So you know what it is when you see the label, when it's on the store shelves or in a cooler. it over to Cayman, who then puts the pack tech applicators, the plastic holders, the four packs. He puts those on the can, and then he stacks them on the pallet. And he'll load that pallet up. Once it's done, it'll go in the cooler until it's gonna go to its final destination, which is either gonna be a tap room, maybe a restaurant, maybe a maybe a liquor store, or in this case, game day hill days. Cheers.